Hello. If you have been watching my videos for a little while, you know I tried to photograph Hollywood a number of times. I did take a few pictures the last time I was there with my Rico, but I was never too satisfied. Recently, I went on a little staycation and I stayed in Hollywood. I thought this was the opportunity for me to photograph it early in the day, during the day, and even late at night. I think the last two to three videos have been a little longer, a little heavier in terms of topic and my discussions, so I wanted to keep this one a little light. Disclaimer, the hotel did give me a free night, but this is not a sponsored video. If you've seen my Instagram, something I really love doing is taking interior pictures. Whether it's of cafes, restaurants, museums, just anything. I love the idea of looking at something that's already there, but trying to photograph it from a different perspective. And for me, interior design really satisfies that need. For example, this bed is already there and so is this little yellow couch. But what can I do to photograph them in a unique way? In this case, I had to play around with the mirror and got this picture. Side note, I'm pretty sure I am not the first person at this hotel to think of this idea. I love how the bed was being reflected in the mirror. It kind of reminded me of one of those Pinterest Instagram travel photos where you can have someone sleeping in bed, ordering room service, drinking coffee, and capturing the person through this mirror. I thought that could be a really cool idea, but alas, I was there alone and I wasn't really looking for a selfie or two. On the day I checked in, I was able to use the pool for a little bit, but because there were a lot of guests and I wanted some clean shots, I decided to take more pictures in the morning instead. I've always had a number of ways or ideas of photographing Hollywood, and one of them was to take photos of people taking pictures of the stars. It's something a lot of people do there, but something that I never really got to capture. This girl, not the best way I could have photographed this moment, but I tried, and honestly, I'm okay with it. You might know this building from my Wes Anderson video. The last time I was here, there were a lot of cars blocking the view. This time, because it was after parking hours, I was able to get a nice clean shot. But because this exact video isn't Wes Anderson focused, I decided to do it my style and have some people in the picture. There's no video for this picture, but I love this picture. This lady, she has her shoes off, she's enjoying this piece of watermelon. I mean, it really looks like she's having the best time right now. She's really enjoying this me time between customers. She's giving her feet some rest. I love this. And the pedestrian on the right, a part of me wishes this person was a little more blurred out, but I think there's good enough balance to show how busy this street is, especially with the car in the background and this guy walking on the right. Despite all of that, this lady in front of us is taking her time to relax, enjoy her fruit.
What I wanted with this picture was to capture the emotions and the facial expressions of the customers dining inside. But because of the glares and reflections on windows, I wasn't able to get a clear image. But you can still kind of see what's happening. I could have gotten weak closer to the windows like I did in my last picture, but I wasn't that desperate for the pictures. Another thing I wanted to photograph and highlight in Hollywood was the street vendors. There are so many people creating and selling art. Yes, they're kind of tourist traps, but I thought it would be interesting to photograph them. Photographing the tourists interacting with the artist, that's another thing too. But because it's a little easier to photograph the artist when they're focused on the work, I decided to take that route. The next morning, I wanted to get some clean shots of the place, without anyone in it, just the place, some sunlight, and me. Because again, the things are already there, but I wanted to find new ways to photograph them. Because sometimes when we take pictures of these places, they look like they belong in travel magazines, and they look very cliche, overdone, everyone's taken a similar picture. But because I wanted to bring a different perspective, I decided to approach these pictures my style. And because this was also in the morning, I wanted to play around with the sunlight and the shadows as well. 